Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Uh, guys, today should be a bunch of reviews for the rest of some of these cards. We're going to be doing a tactic video and then we're also going to be doing a tier list for uh, the second team of Trophy, Tit Trophy Titans. I already forgot the, the pro name. <laughs> wow. Anyways, guys, we have the new SBC Ashley Cole to check out. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is a five foot nine player. High medium work rates, left footed, four star skills with a three star weak foot. Uh, in game player traits, this card has the dives into tackles trait, outside foot shot trait, uh, which, you know, obviously the dives into tackles trait usually ends up being really nice for like the CPU AI stuff. So, because it's obviously like AI tackles for the most part. Um, this card in game, we are going to be giving an anchor chemistry style too. The reason being for this is because of the way that his aggression and stuff is set up so if we take a look at ashley cole for his in-game abilities this is what he's going to look like right so on an anchor chemistry style he's going to have 95 acceleration with a 94 for sprint speed defense is going to be essentially in the perfect area and his physical capability is going to be increased in the strength and aggression departments now there could be a situation where you could potentially give this card a shadow chemistry style and you just work with the physical capabilities of the card as it is because as you guys know pace is very important to give uh most of your cards in this game even in that area and a lot of people are either giving him the anchor or the shadow depending on the situation but we'll give him the anchor to see what the the pace is going to be like in certain situations right so 95 acceleration 94 for sprint speed shooting stats will be in an okay area if i do get into a shooting opportunity then obviously i try to take one but like at the end of the day is 59 finishing so it's not really the whole purpose of using this card especially with the dives into tackles trait passing on the card is going to be in a good area dribbling on the card also in a pretty good area he is a person who has an average body type while working with a five foot nine height so that with those dribbling capabilities uh could definitely be a very nice thing like I mentioned earlier, on the anchor chemistry style, his defensive stats is going to be basically close to perfect uh, while working with physical stats, uh, being in a decent area, except for the strength department, right? So uh, definitely a very interesting card for sure, uh, especially for people that want uh, to end up completing the SBC. They want to try to build some sort of like past and present uh, team, whether it's for the uh, Arsenal teams, Chelsea teams, anything like that uh, would definitely be very cool to... Uh, build them into the squads because the team of the year icon cards for the most part they actually gave them very good improvements to be significantly better in the game uh whereas previous years maybe they would be like kind of average right so we'll see we'll be using him mainly in the left back position testing out defensive capabilities all that good stuff so yeah we'll see what he's like hopefully he is a beast what is this ashley cole let's go Oh, man. Definitely should be rewarded there, but it is what it is. And we're back. Oh, it was a good reach, too, man. It was a good reach. Oh, no, man. The, the tackle, the, the button commands in this game, they make no sense sometimes. Like, I'm trying to, like, tackle a ball. He kicks it away. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's go, Cole. Good challenge there. And it's mine. Nice. Nice tackle. And the well-weighted pass. I just did the wrong selection there. I should have called him closer again. Oh, speed up leg. Oh, we're good. I worked out. Good stuff, boys. Better get involved. Ooh, good challenge again. 
And it's just a good goal. A great ball in, great goal. We'll take that. Sure, I'll take that. A little bit of extra pace would be a little bit helpful in that situation, but at the same time, the anchor is not bad. Oh, never know, man. Never know. Go, Cole. Look at these arch trigger merchants, man. State of it. I got nothing but I get the clearance. Or just hard trigger, man. Has no brain cells. Thank you. Hard trigger merchant. Thank you very much, sir. Hard trigger merchant. Yeah. Woo. That was a good cross, just not the one I really wanted there. Good challenge. Nice, boys. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. I like the build up. I like the build up. Let's go, Cole. Oh, Stevie G getting involved in the attack. Let's go, my boy. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have action. I like that his dribbling is sharp. It's very helpful in those side positions. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Well, Derek, their win last time out counts for nothing today. They need to be at their best to get three points in this one. Cole! Oh, I timed that so well with Cole. I timed that so well with him. Let's go. Check him out, dude. Look at this guy. Look at that. That whole build up play was dope. That was nice. Three quick, quick little dribbles. Passes come off nice. Got a run going on here. A well weighted pass. Really, really well weighted, actually. that too oh i'm gonna switch off him so he tracks back a little quicker here do that switch off of this guy so he tracks back quicker too time the offside trap well there let's go cole Dribbles well under pressure as well. Gonna pass this upwards here. There we go. Nicely done, Cole. I actually don't know who's on my team, but we move. My boy Cole's got me. Now we're good. Yo, Ashley Cole's actually nice. I like this card. Yeah, I, I like that he has sharp dribbles. That's actually super helpful to work with. I like that. CVG with the long shots. I like that I gave him the shadow like after trying him out on the engine a little bit and his his dribbling still feels okay on the uh, the shadow. It's pretty cool. Let's go, Cole. This was his passes and of course he took his goal well. Just needs to continue that form into the second half. There you go, responded well. I saw that. Oh, but I don't get rewarded yet again. Why am I not surprised? Now I'm out of position. 
Of course. You got a beautiful game here, EA. Beautiful game. Of course, man. Beautiful game, EA. Nice tackle. Should be mine, but... That yeah, pace is good enough in that situation. Good slide challenge. It shouldn't happen like that, but... Yeah. Is it his foul too? Of course it is. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Ashley Cole card. So let's take a look at this SBC. The price of it is going to be at 338k. Uh, currently, this card on the market is, I believe, 295k. He's 295k, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. 290k, right? So there's a 40k difference between what he is right now on the fodder of the SBC. Now, the SBC, to be honest with you guys, if you are trying to unlock a left back that provides you some English links in your team, Ashley Cole's actually pretty solid. Now, I don't consider him an S-tier left back, like S-tier in the sense of uh, someone like Cap de Villa or Theo Hernandez. I think that those guys are definitely in a different type of tier. But with the Team of the Year Icon promo, EA made a lot of cards that would be very average before, way more usable after. Now, in regards to how this card performs in game, honestly, I thought defensively he did a pretty solid job for me, right? There are just certain moments in game where on the anchor chemistry style, it would be more ideal to give him that shadow just because of the extra acceleration and sprint speed because of the fact that he's not going to be a physical oriented card anyways uh, because of the fact that his strength is on the lower side. So I think working with higher pace to kind of push himself into the players is going to be more of an ideal situation, right? So if you are building that sort of team in the future and you need him in your left back position, you're trying to build some sort of like pass and present Arsenal team, Chelsea team, anything like that, uh, this card actually does perform pretty solid uh, in game. I actually enjoyed using him for what it was. Like I said, if you are playing the top tier divisions, like top tier meta, I think Captavia and Theo Hernandez are always going to be like the, the go to choices, right? But this card is more than usable um, in that left back position, especially if you do end up choosing to unlock him as an SBC. So, yeah, they did a pretty decent job with him. I wish they gave him the weak foot over the skill moves, to be honest, because having the skill moves is like, it's okay if I maybe do a croquetta from time to time. Wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, but yeah, it was definitely a very interesting card. I like that his dribbling is nice. Uh, the dribbling being nice in that left back position just for like the general build up play is great because even his passes come off very nicely, really well weighted passes. Um, the dribbling was was really nice. Like that was the thing that uh, really set uh, set the tone for me on this card. It was uh, it was very solid. So yeah, they did a very good job with this card. Like I said, with most of the team of the year icon cards, they did a pretty solid job with. So. Yeah, if you choose to end up unlocking the SBC um, and you want to use them in your team for whatever links you're going to work with, this card is more than usable in your, in your team for sure. Uh, but guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.